uh, India, three story are people with less than five lakh ka income. Uh, Panch lakh se pandra lakh ke beech ka income is around chalis lakh, chalis uh, crore, and then twelve crore are only ten to twelve crores are people with more than uh, fifteen lakh. So this is what the consumer stack uh, looks like for Bloom. Number one, India one is Mexico, India two is Indonesia, and India three is Sub-Saharan Africa. India one is the consuming class, which is approximately 30 million households, 120 million people, and approximately 15,000 per person ka inka ARR hai. ARR as in annual earnings hai, which means around 3 crore households and 14 and 12 crore people, which is approximately, they have basically done an assumption of four people per family. So around 10 crore households are driving 80% of the overall GDP. India one is the consumption class effectively constitutes the market for most startups. Also most startups start here and then expand to India two. India two is the aspirant class, which is 70 million households, 300 million people and approximately 3,000 uh, dollars per person. This is the emerging aspirant class. They are heavy consumers and reluctant payers, which is basically students. OTT and media, gaming, edtech and lending are the relevant markets for them. UPI and auto pay has unlocked small ticket spends and transactions for this group. And then the third part comes is the India 3, which is the biggest chunk. Unmonetizable users is what they are called. 205 million households, 1 billion people, and only $1,000 per, per, per month, uh, per person. India 3 doesn't have the kind of incomes to be able to spend anything on discretionary goods. They are beyond the pale as of now for startups. So startups who are starting in India 3, please be aware. Uh, not that easy. Things. So, here, if you if you want to break down the different startups in India, one the Netflix, Mama Earth, Zerodha, Nike, Cred, they are the ones who are working here. India two me Jar, Misho, Kutum, Flipkart, OTT Stage, Dream Eleven, Phone Pay, they are the ones who are basically going. And then India three me WhatsApp, ShareChat, YouTube, MX Player, and the other people, they are the ones who are playing in this. So India 1 को इन्होंने और तीन पार्ट में ब्रेक किया है. India 1A, which is Singapore, which is 5% of India 1. Then there is India B, which is Poland, which is 28% of India 1. And then there is India 1C, which is Mexico, which is 67% of India 1. ठीक है, तो इसमें difference क्या है? इसमें difference यह है कि what they are saying is, जो आप 15 लाख के, 15 लाख के above का annual income बता रहे हो, उसमें भी further segmentation और सबसे ऊपर जो है वो Singapore वाली जनता है which is if you look at the annual household earnings of India divisions these are the people who are making six million dollars then India B which is Poland is the one who's making two million dollars and then India one sees Mexico who's making one point two million dollars sorry not dollars rupees one point two million rupees one point two million rupees is बारह लाख so 1C is 12 lakh, 1B is 20 lakh and 1C is 60 lakh, right? So basically anybody with an income of 60 lakh and above basically falls in the Singapore domain. Now India 1 consumptions share across categories. Sabse zyada spend hota hai beauty mein, India 1 mein. Then dining and then food and beverages. And this is why you see the uh, the mamas and the swiggies and the d2c brands basically coming up in in the india one segment har ek koi ko aajkal naya ek flavor ka chips ban jata hai ek naye flavor ki coffee aa jati hai because this is where the spends are happening india one consumption shares across category is this moving on to india two we can also think of india two as two distinct groups india one is English first, has definitely rewashed friends, similar to the West and very high income, right? Then India 2.1 is 
young aspirational india which is 18 to 35 the regional language first and middle income so india one is basically target market for anything that has worked in the west then india two broken down into 2.1 and 2.2 in 2.1 is the young aspirational behavior who is the regional language first middle income the target market this is the target market for new models of e-commerce. So, unbranded electronics, micro payment based services, anything that has worked in mass market China. And then India 2.2, which is older, middle income, and slow to adapt digital. And the next big set of opportunities lie in India 2.1. India 2.1 में fintech, e-commerce and edtech. These are the three three things which are basically going to work. So fintech में mutual funds and insurance penetration, e-commerce में new GTM and uh, and then edtech में micro payment based models. And India 2.2 is basically the rural India. Rural India has a crucial role to play as 65 percent of the population uh, resides in the rural areas. About 45% of India's GDP comes from rural areas. However, their share is abysmally low at just 11% of the total banking deposits and 9% of the total credit as of December 2022.